All right, in this video for new Blender users, we're just going to take a closer look at this properties window up here. Let me just open it up a little bit. So you can see all your objects in the scene like this, and plus all these other icons. We'll cover some of these in here to help you out. So sometimes you can lose your objects in the scene. They may get hidden behind here, they may be hidden inside something else. Sometimes it's hard to find them, and sometimes it's just simply easier to pick them out of a list, depending if you've named them and you have proper names or whatever. So if, in this case, let's say I have this, well, it's just, just named Echosphere, and this one's named Cube, like that. And maybe I'm positioned, I don't know, maybe maybe the Echosphere is out of the screen. And I want to parent this to the Echosphere, and I can't find it. So I could I could select this, and then I could come up here and hold down the Shift key, and I could left-click that at the same time. I don't need to have that doesn't need to be open right now and by doing that then they're both actually selected and then when I press control P and I parent there I've set my parent to the object like that all right so that's one way to do it otherwise all right so now I'm going to alt P and clear that out like that all right so that's easy to find or or the other way is well let me reparent it control, control shift Z I said control shift Z. Hey, what uh, that won't reparent? That's unbelievable. So I'm gonna reparent. I'm gonna reparent that. Control P like that. And the other thing is sometimes what happens is you have so many objects in the scene they tend to get lost and you can't find them. So you you know, like right now, here's I want to know here's the cube. I know it's named cube, so I'm gonna go up to the list and I want to get it here. Because maybe I want to turn this cube off in my render. Because if uh let me move this oops, let me move this one over here. I better get a different view. Well, I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'll move both of these. <laughs> That's kind of in there. I'll, I'll move these. You can do Control Alt Zero and kind of get a general camera view like this. So they're going to render it, and there it is there. But I want to turn this cube off, so I can turn the rendering off by this camera button by clicking the camera button. But I have to find the cube. Well, where's the cube? Well, the cube's not there because the cube is parented to this. So it's going to be underneath the Icosphere, but if you don't remember sometimes what it's underneath, because of when you have hundreds and hundreds of objects in the scene, one of the clues to look for is this upside down triangle right here that, that has shown up in the scene, and it's got this faint circle around it. That tells me that this Icosphere has children beneath it, okay? So then if I, if I deselect it you can see there it is there but it doesn't have the circle so you can see when it's selected it has that circle around there but in any case it tells me oh, okay the icosphere has children so it teaches me to go into here and look underneath there and there's the cube down here like this all right so that's helpful as well but then also what it does it gives me access to this so if I click on this in here and then I turn this button off like that then when I press F12 to render the scene then the cube is not there. It's just an alternative way. I've showed videos on how you can do that with layers as well. You can either have objects in a separate layer and deselect the layer. Like I could take this object here and I could just move it over to layer 12. Oh, I moved it to layer 2 accidentally, but layer 2 is not on right now unless I shift hold, shift select it like that. So then when I press F12, so it's the same thing. But let's turn this back on and press F12. So even with it on, it doesn't matter because I don't have that layer on. But if I have the layer on because maybe on that layer I have a whole bunch of other objects, then I just turn it off individually in here. All right. And then sometimes also I don't want to I don't want to see the object in my viewport when I'm just working around, so then you can just turn it off here. All right. Like that. Even though I have that layer selected. Okay. So I with it on. So that's really important as well what view is the scene and I think that's really what I wanted to cover just those couple of things because those things are I use a lot all the time and they really become useful and maybe you didn't know about them but oh well, now you do okay I'll see you in the next video